Okay, so for my um, monochromatic uh, portrait water, in watercolor, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use this album cover. And because it is an album cover and it's not a sheet of computer paper, I'm going to need to use a different method for transferring the image. I can't, I can't draw on this um, album cover and I don't want to ruin it in any way. So what I did was I laid a piece of tracing paper over it and it's a little bit difficult to see unfortunately, but I was able to find some of the darks and lights and sort of block them out a little bit. And then I took this um, so I found a little bit of the hair, I found some of the lines that showed me where the shadow started, and I drew those in. Then the next thing I did was I turned the tracing paper over, and you can kind of see it better here, and I scribbled with my pencil behind those lines in particular. You could draw like this over the entire page, but it's kind of unnecessary. And then I flipped it over and I went back in and I drew over each line, pressing down hard, but not too hard as to dent the paper. So what I have now is a very light tracing of the image. You can sort of see the nose here, the mouth, and the eye. Um, I don't want it to be too dark because when I do my painting, I don't want this line drawing to show through. And if I press down too hard with the pencil when I'm transferring the image, um, I will create a groove in the paper that um, sort of dis you know ruins the texture that's already there. Something to keep in mind with tracing is that whatever scale your image is, is going to be the scale of your painting as well. So if you have a small photograph, for instance, when you wanted to do a big painting, you'd have to use a different method. Perhaps the grid transfer method might be a better way to scale up an image. But tracing can only replicate images at the exact same size. So I'm going to start off by choosing the color that I have in my palette or in my tubes of paint that matches closest to the color of the album art. So in my case, I think I'm going to go with this. In your case, if you're working from a black and white photo, you can really choose whatever color you want. Um, yellow is going to be tough to work with though, so I would, I would stick to something a little bit darker. So for monochrom monochromatic means one color. So we're gonna work with just one color and use the white of the paper to show the light that's coming through. And the, the way that we're gonna show darkness is just by basically layering and layering more and more of the color that you choose on top to start to get that kind of depth. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is get a large synthetic brush or a mop brush would be ideal, but right now I just have large synthetic brushes, um, something like that. Dep it depends on the scale of your painting, um, but something that I can use to kind of start to block out the major dark areas. I'm going to get some paint on my brush. It doesn't have to be a lot. Basically all I'm doing at the outset is just finding the dark spaces and blocking them out and I don't want to overcommit. So I'm going to I'm not going to go too dark. And this is the cheek area that I'm finding right here. That's where her hair goes. And I don't want too much of a hard edge, so I'm going to let it be a little bit wet. And let's see, this is the shadow underneath her bottom lip. And just like how these edges are blurry, I'm gonna try to keep my edges blurry in my painting, just by adding a little bit of water to the sides like that, finding that space underneath the mouth. 
mouth, the, that's the lower lip, finding that space, leaving space for this white chin area, and kind of blending it out. Here we have the lower lip, which is in shadow. That's a little bit darker. I'll try to block that in. Just capturing the major shapes is my goal for right now. This, this nose drawing that I did was a little bit difficult for me to see, so hopefully I'm going to be able to find it here. The eye, the shadow under the eye is right here with the eyelid poking through right above it. Um, there we go. That's the bridge of the nose right there. Right there is the bridge. And I'm gonna put a little bit more shadow right bottom here. A little more shadow above. Okay. There's also a little bit of um, a cheek right here that I want to try to indicate. So that's the nose. And then we have also this line here. doesn't really look like a face, but that's okay. What I'm looking for more is the shadow structure. I don't wanna light, I kind of wanna buff out those edges so they're not super intense. Okay, then down here we have a little bit of the not sure what that is. Actually, not sure what that is. Hmm. Okay. Definitely, we're all in shadow down here. And I'm going to continue like this. 